Hello, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this uh, lovely 5 inch phone. So on the outside here we've got that great 5 inch screen. Uh, we've got our touch capacitive buttons here. We've got front facing camera and some sensors. On the side here we've got our sound rocker volume and we've got an on and off button here. Back facing camera with a flash. On the top we've got a USB port and a 9.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that's the outside. So let me open it up and um, put the sims in. So we've got a little groove here. Just need to pull that like that. That will open the back. And on the back here, we've got a memory card port and our two SIM slots. This is a dual SIM phone. You can use just one SIM, but uh, if you need two SIMs, that's great to have that as well. So the battery just goes in there like that. That way you can put the back on and uh, we turn it on. While that's turning on, let me show you what it comes with. It comes with obviously a USB charging data transfer cable. So that's that, that will just go into um, a PC. And it comes with these rather fetching headphones. Um, these headphones will double up as a wireless headphones so you can, uh, wired headphones even, so you can take your phone calls because it's got a little microphone there as well. So you can listen to music or take your phone calls with that. So that's great also comes with an English manual now this manual is not the best manuals manual in the world but Android is pretty standard you can uh, download generic manuals from the, the internet or you can just email us and we'll, uh, we'll help you uh, the best we can now you can buy some option, optional extras it doesn't come with a mains USB charger but you can buy one of these off us most people have these um, but if you haven't you can buy one of these off us quite cheaply we also uh, managed to get these cases for it. Um, these cases come with a little bit of caveat, I'll show you. Um, it, it just fits on like that. Now, uh, it, it's got all the holes in the right places, as you can see. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't close all the way. If it's in your pocket, obviously, it would just be like that, protecting the screen. But if you have it like that, it doesn't close properly, unfortunately. Maybe that will get better as you wear it in. But initially, we found it doesn't close properly. But we are offering these uh, these covers at a great price, so I hope you choose to buy it. Um, the other great thing about it is you can turn it into a little stand like that, so you can use it to, to watch movies and things because look it works out like a little stand now that the phone started let's have a, a little play so we've got our android lock screen here we just uh, scroll across to uh, unlock and uh, there you have it so let's uh, show you the notification tray first so up here we've got our notifications um, this will show all notifications from applications and the phone and stuff like that um, we've also got quick settings so if I press that we've got our settings all up here so we can turn things off and on um, we also can see because this is a dual sim phone that I'm connected to my two sims EE and Vodafone uh, or T-Mobile and Vodafone so it's almost like carrying two phones at once so both of these are active at the same time so you can make or receive calls from either of the sims so that's a notification tray there let me show you how you make um, calls from either of the sims I just dial out the number and then down here I can choose which sim I want to call from um, as well texting is the same I would, I would uh, write out my text once I uh, written it out I have two buttons here and I can choose which sim I want that coming out of so that's very easy when you receive a text message um, you'll know which sim you're getting it from when you get a phone call it will tell you which sim you're getting that from as well so you have total control over over um, you know how you're calling out and what calls and texts you're receiving now let's talk about this lovely screen now this screen is an IPS screen an IPS screen is like the Rolls-Royce of screens it really is great you can see it's very bright and vibrant but also it's got great 
angles on it. On cheaper LCD screens, the angles aren't so good. You'll have to see it from straight on, or you can't really see it. So when you turn it, it becomes all blurred and you can't really see it. But look, you, this this screen is an IPS screen. It's a premium screen, so you can see it from all different angles. It really is a, a very, very quality screen. The other thing about this, it uses a capacitive multi-touch screen, so it's very responsive to the lightest of touches. And you can see that it is responding to my touches very, very well. The pixel density on this is really great as well. Um, if I just open up a picture, you can see the detail is really good multi-touch it supports multi-touch as well so I can do pinch to zoom on pictures websites and things and it just doesn't have a dual touch it has um, a five point touch screen so that makes the whole experience better so it recognize five inputs really great for using the phone but also great for games as well this phone also comes with the Google Play Store now the Google Play Store I think is very important because from here I can download new uh, applications, games, movies, music, books uh, and magazines and things like that. It stops me going to my PC, downloading something on my PC, putting a memory card or transferring on here. I can I can do it straight from the Google Play Store. It comes with the Play Store so it's, it's really good. Internet browsing is really quick as well. So you can see it's really great for browsing. Um, so I've loaded up our website here um, and pinched to zoom works really great. And just just look at that screen, it's such a lovely screen um, to be, be viewing content on. It really is great. Okay, so what about games? Um, this, uh, this phone is really, really capable. Um, it's a quad core processor, it's got one gig of RAM, um, so it's very, very capable of all the latest games out there. So what I'm gonna do is play a few games and then you can judge for yourself. So that's it on the gaming front. I could show you more, but you get the idea. This phone is a very, very capable phone with that quad-core processor and that dedicated uh, graphics processing unit as well. Uh, so let me show you the camera. This camera is an 8 megapixel autofocus camera um, and it's uh, quite good indeed. We've also got a, a 2 megapixel front camera too. Um, it's got all the usual things that you would expect from a smartphone camera. Um, we've got all the settings here. Um, we've got lots of options that we can play with. It's got everything that you would expect a smartphone to have. The camera is very good indeed. Okay, let's wrap it up. Um, one more thing I forgot to show you. This also does iPlayer and things like that. I, I love iPlayer to catch up on my favorite programs. So this will play iPlayer very, very well, especially on Wi-Fi. It works really, really nicely. So let's wrap this up then. If you are looking for a dual SIM smartphone, uh, you can't go far wrong with this. This has got Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It's got latest Android. It's got a quad core processor, it's got one gig of RAM, it's got that wonderful five inch IPS screen. It really has uh, everything that ticks the boxes. It really is a wonderful phone. Um, if you need the dual SIM, it handles that perfectly. If you don't need it, that's fine. It'll work as a normal smartphone. It's got a great camera. It's got a lovely uh, casing. It's got this uh, wonderful red bits on the sides. Um, it's quite thin, it's quite light. It's five inches, which is the norm these days, um, but it's not too big in my hand and it fits in my pocket absolutely fine as well. So um, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you choose to buy this uh, 
phone, it's highly recommended.